everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Galactic Mining Corp. I don't actually know what this game is, uh, I, but I've had a lot of people ask me to play it, so I guess we're just all going in blind. I know it's a, it's a roguelike where you where you are mining into the into a planet, grabbing resources, upgrading your stuff. I just uh, beyond that, don't know. I tried looking at a couple of screenshots, and it was like, eh? I don't know. Anyway, so welcome to Galactic Mining Corp. I'm Kira, your robotic assistant. I'm here to help you smoothly transition into the CEO position of your fledgling intergalactic mining company. Let's get to work on building the best intergalactic mining company in the universe. First things first, behind me is your brand new HQ. It's not much yet, but once you get some building up and upgrading, it'll turn into something great. First job is to build some rooms in the HQ. Click the vacant rooms indicated in the arrows and select the room you wish to build. Once you've made your selection, press the construct button. I have provided you with two room blueprints. Build those in the empty slots I've also given you 250 gold to get started. Okay, janitor's closet. Uh, okay, and a locker room. Great job. Great job. Building rooms in your HQ is very important. As you expand your HQ, you'll have more rooms to build. But for now, let's move on to the important task of putting your crew to work. There are four types of crew members, laborers, engineers, scientists, and business. Crew members can only fit into a room with a crew slot of its type. Click on the rooms of your HQ, select a crew slot at the bottom of the room interface, and I will provide you with a selection of crew for that type. Find two crew members to get started, both of whom are laborer types. You can right-click to dismiss any interface. However, I'm not that submissive. You will need to listen to everything I have to say first. Wow. Now go and add those crew members, and I'll get back to you. Well, crew slot. All right. Add crew. Okay. And janitor's closet. Add crew. There we go. You're a natural. Great job. Now that you've built some rooms and added some crew, you've noticed that all the stat points these gave you. Or, you will have noticed all the stat points these gave you. All the stats you obtained are applied to your drill. You want to get all of them as high as possible when we go drilling. This will become far clearer when you start exploring and mining. You can check your drill stats at any point after the tutorial by clicking on the drill stats button in the top left interface. You can now access... Part of the navigation menu at the top right of the screen, feel free to take a look around once I release you from this tutorial. This wraps up part of the tutorial. I'll meet you outside the galaxy. Outside, it, or out in the galaxy. Click on the explore button right. if you want to head out. Cool. Okay, well we have new, new, and new. Crew, room, and explore. Rooms, okay, so we know that. Crew, don't really care too much. Explore, we go. Quadrant Alpha. Hey there. You made it. Welcome to the first galaxy map. From here, you can explore and find all manner of things. Once I leave, you'll be able to see the first location for you to drill called Home Comet. Click on it, and you'll be able to read, a, read its stats and uh, stats and stuff. Or you can choose to jump straight in and start drilling. You can search question mark squares left by left clicking on one, waiting until you arrive at the square, and then pressing the right mouse button. This will uncover that square, but only if you have enough cash. Be aware that the further you travel from the center of a map, the more expensive each square becomes. You'll also notice that the navigation menu has changed. These new systems will become available as you explore the galaxy. You can return to your HQ at any time by simply pressing the HQ button. Head to the home comet and I'll meet you there. Okay, we might as well reveal a couple of these things, but... Okay, home comet, this is where your HQ is built. A simple comet that's geologically stable and easy to drill. Drill! Hello. You made it to your first drilling site. Here's where the action happens. Drill down as far as you can and try to smash the core. Core fragments are very useful in expanding our company. Click and hold the left mouse button and the drill will head to the mouse pointer drilling anything in its path. Hold both left and right mouse buttons to boost for added damage. Your drill will take damage when drilling tiles. Tiles are what we call different materials you can drill. Some tiles can be very tough to break, however it looks pretty easy here. When you break a tile, you keep it. You also get cash, EXP for your crew, and even more EXP for that tile type. You're always progressing. If you run out of HP, your drill will break, but this is not a bad thing, as we have an unlimited number of drills and can drill an unlimited number of times. When a drilling session ends, you're rewarded with everything you earn during that session. So this is a super roguelite, roguelite as opposed to a roguelike. I'm okay with it. Let's see. When it ends, you're rewarded with everything you earned, so a broken drill is a good thing. A few pointers before you head down. In the top right, you can check out the drill site's info. You'll often see green research coins while drilling. Filling the research bar will enable you to unlock new rooms for your HQ. Every drill site has a research quota to hit, so green research coins are great. 
Ah, uh, blah, blah, blah. Health points, boost points, cash. Luckily, this planet has no element. However, some locations do, and elemental resistances are important. Got it. Now get drilling. Earn that cash. Bring us some core fragments. And broken drill is never a bad thing. You'll benefit. Cool. I... Okay, so we want to just get rolling. Uh, I don't know about that diamond-looking thing. Or a diamond. Or you. You seem important, but it looks like it was maybe just some extra money. Nothing more. Okay, this is actually kind of decent. I'm not a big fan of that tutorial. I... I am a huge fan of games that kind of teach themselves without having to just hold your hand, and I don't feel like this is the kind of game that really necessarily needed a uh, lengthy introduction. What are you? What is that? Oh, lighting. For a bit. Well, it's a shame there's some HP, but oh well. All the tutorial crits wander for 99 HP. Wander faints. It's true. I'm actually writing a script uh, right now. Or, not right now, but I was writing a script right before, uh... Right before stream, talking about, uh... Good tutorialization versus bad tutorialization. I feel like it's really important to kind of drive this point home. Uh, just in general, that, like, there are some games that just have absolute garbage tutorials. I don't necessarily hate this one, it was pretty short. Uh, but Walls of Text rarely teach players anything. Walls of text are usually there because you couldn't think of a better way to introduce introduce your mechanics. Aha! Okay, don't see anything else, but that's fine. Okay, let's go to the HQ and see what we can get. Nice Welcome back, you nailed the basics of building your intergalactic mining company. I think it's best if I leave you to it. There we go. Check out the navigation menu, see what you need to unlock the other systems. Make unlocking those your immediate goal. They're very useful. One last thing of great importance, if you look at the top left, you see your corporation level. This is your overall ranking. Everything you upgrade or unlock adds to the corp level bar. Build this bar and start, uh, and it'll start flashing. Click it to increase your corp level and grant you some awesome prizes and bonuses. You need my help? Cool. Please go away. Please, please go away. I get it. Let's do this. I get it. I truly do. But I, I'll figure it out. All right. So office, stat progression, and achievements. Okay. Rooms. Every room adds... Oh. More rooms, more upgrades. Now, I believe... Nope. Looks like I get it. just got to start exploring. We'll figure it out. Okay. Luckily, I've got tons of money. Let's head here, because we know there's something here. Comet the Bulb. Tar-covered comet sprouting strange yellow growths. Gross! Big plus on this one that I'm I'm already appreciating. I can play this one-handed, which I feel like is kind of a weird thing to say, but from the perspective of somebody that kind of uh, overdoes it on his hands a lot, having a uh, having a game that I can play largely one-handed is is kind of a nice break. Wow, I died immediately. Yeah, can we turn her off somehow? Well, I think she's done. I, I don't think we need to worry about her ever again. I think sh I think she'll p potentially pop up as like a a little bonus tutorial of like, yeah. Uh, you know, talk to her whenever you need anything important. But from my own perspective, I will probably just try and figure this out. Regardless of whether or not I I could learn faster by listening to her, I hate having people tell me what to do. Not necessarily... Not necessarily because, like, I refuse to listen to other people, but I just... I learn better when I'm just playing games on my own. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is my collection. So, 30 scores of the galaxy for astronomy. Lost stock crate to unlock the market. Cool. Uh, I guess let's go back to explore then. That's why you have the... Oh, hello. Chest. I have no idea what that is. Research facility. Your research unlocked. Crew 
contact tra contract. Okay, boombox. Poof. Boombox GG. You hear a distant sound of electro music. You make your way towards the sound uh, source to find Boombox GG streaming a concert for billions of followers. Whirlwind of color and sound fills your senses. You talk to your agent about making a mutually beneficial deal. They agree, but she wants the following. Cool. We've unlocked her. Wait. For what? As a mining crew person? Maybe. Okay, so we've got con con contracts, yeah. And mini-map. I, I guess I'll dig first. We need money anyway. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking forward to actually getting some reasonable upgrades here. This is kind of a casual game. It's... Broccoli? It doesn't assume much. It mostly just chucks you it chucks you at it and just says like have fun. And I'm actually pretty okay with that. Okay. So let's put her in. So extra drill power, HP, crit strike, fire resistance, acid resistance. How the hell did we actually recruit her? That doesn't make any dang sense. Okay, so I don't think we can do any research yet. Research bar on three sites. Ah. Oh. I guess let's just drill the first area a bunch. Kind of casual game. It's broccoli. Did you know broccoli is the most popular vegetable in the United States? I had no idea. Oh, the research on this is complete, in fact. Like, broccoli was always kind of a, a tertiary and, like, pleasant thing for me. Well, I found the core. That's probably a plus. Okay. New core located. Gravity increased. Depth increased. Oh. Okay. And then we just go until we blow up our drill, I guess. Makes sense? Honestly, this ain't bad. I'm liking this. I might actually want to play uh, a little bit more of it than just... Oh, what did I, why did I do drill again? I don't know. I guess it doesn't matter. I'll do it. Yeah, maybe we do want to bust up those metal boxes. I don't know what's in them, but it seems like they have goodies. I say as I get a tin can. Okay. Oh, so boost makes it so I don't take damage. As much. So I could be wrong. Grab the money multiplier and immediately blow up. It's fine. Okay, this game will be good, probably, depending on the upgrade system. It's at least casual in kind of like a fun way. Okay. So information. Research is complete. Uh, it looks like it goes up to level 3 core, but otherwise is done. So, honestly, let's work on un unlocking everything else first. Got sandwich. We got chisel. Whoa. We got a full-on moon. Okay. Well, I'm too poor to afford most of these things. Let's go to uh, chisel. Okay, element fire 2, named after its familiar yet unpleasant uh, appearance. Alright, cool. 
Once again, I find a game right up my alley and highly interesting because Wander plays it. Thank you. Yeah! Yeah, I've been meaning to play this for a couple of days, but this week has just been heck. Uh, between... Oh, gosh. Trying to finish Subnautica. I guess there's no reason not to just hit the boost constantly when I have it. Okay, there we go. Chill's talking on the phone in the background and just surprised the heck out of me. Okay, let's grab this. Tough nut to crack? Ah, so I can get into those. And it looks like research is complete for the area. Cool. What have you ever played Perfect Tower 2? I haven't. I've, I've heard a couple of people suggest it. Ah, I almost made it to the core. It's fine. All right, let's drill again. I can probably go straight down. And just get to it. Well, we also get whatever this is. Oh, maybe we already got whatever it was. Pop these open. Broccoli, question mark. Yes, let's pop this core. We... Because there's no reason not to, to some degree. Even reveal some things for me. The Perfect Tower is even grindier than Perfect Tower 1. Yeah, I've I've heard of it. It's it's like a if I remember right, it's like an idle game, but you're like beefing up a singular tower and defending a lot of things. It seems like the kind of game that I'd like to do is a potentially indie lightning round when I have just enough free time to guarantee that I can uh, stick around for a couple of episodes in case people like it. Right now, I'm incredibly busy, and so like if I played it, I could not guarantee playing more than one. One video. Okay, let's go to the map. Okay, uh, let's go over here. Fresh. What's the counter to the left of the coins? Fragments, maybe? I guess I shouldn't use the boost when I'm hitting the metal boxes, because don't the metal boxes cost me HP? Or maybe they do. I haven't seen them cost me HP. Ooh, this one's a tougher. But what we want is the research more than anything else. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I look forward to having some actual upgrades under my belt. Oh, you're an enemy. Oh, that actually killed me. Okay. Leave that there for a hot second. Okay. Grab this. There's a research. Okay. Get the full on cash multiplier. Okay. So here's the thing. I don't have to die here. I don't know if I can kill those nautiloid critters. Ow. That might not have been worth it. Let's see if I can get that at the very least. No. I think getting to the center of this sucker is going to hurt. Well, let's go to the HQ. I got a ton of money, too. 
Holy shit, I have a ton of money. Corp level increased. Unlocked. Bonus. Pulverous man. Cool. So we've unlocked the Cortrium. Research. And astronomy. Astronomy. Oh, just lets me pick places that I've already been. So I don't have to go to the map to get to them. Uh, collection. What does leveling this up do? Value 8. Oh, it increases how much they're worth. Okay, that's actually really cool. Okay. This almost feels like an incremental game more than a roguelike. Roguelite? Okay, HQ size upgrade. Oh, I have to put cores in to get these. Well, I got them. So, auto earner gold, 500. Yeah, this is an incremental game. Holy shit. This is a thing. It's an incremental game dis disguised as a roguelike. I kind of dig it. Alright, research. We've unlocked the restroom. Let's see. I don't think we have anything else. Oh, I see. Next room unlock. Get three more. Gets us the boiler room. Got it. Okay. Well, restroom. Build it. Okay. Crew slot. We have walrus man. The stench of this room is a continued uh, source of continued complaint. Blockages are all too frequent occurrence. Why did I put a science scientist in the bathroom? I don't know. You know what? He can just do whatever the hell he wants. All right, what do we got in the garage? Ah. So drill power, drill HP, and resistances. Honestly, let's go with the drill power. And then save up the money for more drill power. We can also unlock a pilot slot. Oh. Increase the size of the light around a drill. Cores will explode an additional time, giving more cash. Uh, let's see, additional research coins. Extra cash will be received when breaking chests. I'm going to go with her for the time being. And let's get another one. Go with the two of those. This is cool. Uh, well, I never mind the whole lightning round thing. This we're just gonna be here now. I guess let's check out the bulb. Oh, wait, no, we've already done done the bulb. We haven't. Well, that extra power makes a huge difference. Holy shit! I'm just swimming through these. Okay, so it looks like don't hit that. Potentially don't even get close to that. All right, there's the court. All right, there we go, location up. Grab this. I think everything else is good. What I'd like to find is some HP if I can ma manage it. But I think my chances of finding HP at this point are not great. It's fine. Okay. Got some cash. Got some EXP. I don't really know. I guess let's go back to HQ for a hot second. I don't think there's anything I can do yet. Because we need... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Cortrium. 5% more drill power, crit strike, explore reduction costs, extra chest value. I guess I'll go this way. Alright, and let's go back to explore. Yeah, because I got plenty of money. Crew contact. Okay. So need 5,000 
some apple pie, and then bananas. So you enter a galactic saloon to see a large group of beings surrounding a man as he tells the most fantastical story you've ever heard. Cash McMoney, of course. You're so impressed by the clearly false claims of grandeur that you offer the guy a job. Cash agrees, but asks that you get him the following. Okay, so we'll have to hit that up later. For now, I guess... Oh, market stock. There we go. Now we can start buying things. Oh, and I'm poor. Dead sight. Dead sight. But we have a moon. Let's check out the moon. A dull and rocky gray moon. It's still worth a dig. Almost would expect this to be a flash game. Yeah, it definitely has that, like, flash game feel. Uh, to its benefit... It's pretty fun. Like, it, does, it doesn't have a whole lot of, like, immediate complexity around it. Um, that would keep me here for, like, hours and hours, maybe? But, like, I'm enjoying it all the same. This is the kind of game that... I mean, honestly, as a streamer, I'm kind of just enjoying it because it's just, like, low effort. We're just here. We're going for resources. And that's all that I need to do. There's no there's no optimization. To some degree, there's not even a challenge here. It's just kind of go. Okay. Let's grab this. Grab that. Get some HP. Ah, damn it. Okay, so that that randomly generates. Because I could have gotten that to be like a times five or something crazy like that. But in retrospect, that really doesn't change too much. Okay, pop the chest open. I think I'll make it, just barely. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna park myself here. We got some apple pie. I don't think I'm gonna get it get to anything interesting here. Yeah, I blew up. It's fine. Alright. And now we know we can get apple pie here. That said, I'm gonna go back for a hot second. We want to go to garage. Oh, we also leveled up. Oh, I don't have enough money. Now we do. Okay, garage. All my work is guaranteed. Oh, I apparently don't have enough drill drill power for it. I don't know how I get more of those. Okay, so what's this new guy do? Providing more items. I like that more than the research coin, maybe. Okay, now we can go to the market. So... Power up crate, boost refill 20%. Purchase this crate and you'll find it while drilling. Break the crate to refill 20% of your boost fuel. Oh. Oh. We can also just spend 10,000 or even 20,000. Yeah, invest in chests to increase their value. Expensive, but probably worth it to invest in that a bunch. Oh, I see. Moon Planet. That's... That's how I get back to Zai. So is that a permanent thing? Oh, yeah. What a wacky game. Okay, what about research? Where are we at on that? All right, we now have the boiler room. Okay. So, drill power, drill HP, crit strike. Crew EXP modifier. Oh, they level up, I guess. All right, works for me. Uh, I guess back to astron astronomy. Let's go back to Zaya. I know we can get apple pie here, and we need more of it. Is 
But yeah, I love the idea of using treasure chest or um of, sorry, in investing in treasure chest value. Boy, I was originally kind of eh on going for the treasure chest. They're a hundred percent worth it. Holy shit! Let's see. Wonder if you've played Kriya and Crawl before. Yes. But also, please, always check my YouTube before asking these things. Because, boy, I've played, like, every game. Unfortunately, Crawl is one of those games that I can't really comfortably play. Because uh, they didn't add online multiplayer. Four. Down. I... I mean, you're not wrong. Well, if I don't run into a... A bruiser or critter here, I think we'll be in a good spot. Well, I found a bruiser of a critter. Okay. Ooh, that extra distance is kind of spooky. Pick that out. Then let's go back. I'm pretty wounded, but I left a couple of heals in the immediate area. Because I didn't need them at, at the time. What if I can invest those, make the heals better? Is there anything else on the surface? Sometimes there is. Sometimes there's not. I'm not really sure. Yeah, we want to go this way. Eat. I'm trying to preserve how much HP I have. Easier said than done. Ah. This drill is a little careeny. I don't know. We might not make it to the bottom on this one. But we will make a fair bit of money. okay. Didn't need to. Boost. Uh, so boost does not actually prevent me from taking damage. I thought it did. It does not. Okay. No, we don't have any cores. Uh, let's see. Research, garage, explore. Oh, collection. Let's, uh, let's go back to explore. Can I go to the crew contract? Okay, so we still haven't found banana, and we need more sandstone. Let's see, rough sand. Mud. No sandstone yet. We never got the core off this one, so let's go for it. Might as well speed for the bottom. Wow, this barely even hurts me. Yeah, let's hit this up as we go by. There we go. Okay. Going for those extra items might not be a bad move. Okay. What else do we got out here? I mean, at this point, I'm just going to try and extract as much immediate value as possible from what I'm doing. Oh. Another one of these guys. Okay. Oh, that doesn't kill them. I was really hoping that that would actually absolutely ace the weird squid creatures. Because that would be rad as shit. Blasting them into oblivion. Boy, we're, we're getting decently strong here. Not that it matters too much. 
don't think it was in range. Yeah. That is entirely possible. Okay. Wow. We, uh, we stripped this place. I'm not going to say entirely bare, but, uh... We did not leave a whole lot left. I think we found everything of any immediate value here. And now it's a matter of just finding those couple extra little bits. Yeah, I think we're good to go. One more treasure chest. Hello. Yep. Well, that was great. Okay, back to the map. I don't think this one had sandstone, though. One of these did. Sandstone. Okay, so we want to do the bulb. <laughs> when I went to dinner, it was still Indiana Jones and the Temple of Dead Acquaintances. What's this? This is Galactic Mining Corp. It is... An incremental game disguised as a roguelike, where you take a mining ship down, gather resources, use it to upgrade yourself, rinse, repeat forever. The roguelike elements, I guess it's more roguelite, is that each one of these runs, you die, you start over. It's very minor roguelite-ish. Uh, but I think it actually works really well for what this game is trying to be. It's not exactly the deepest gameplay I've ever seen. But I'm pretty down with the, like, the casual nature of it. Okay, do we drill again? Yeah, I need a little bit more sandstone. And yeah, we want gray stone around here. If you're wondering why I was just going straight down for a hot second, it's so mostly just to get myself the passage deeper. It's probably not the most efficient thing, but it works for me. I can see this being good for someone who needs to just chill out for 15 minutes or a day or something like that. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a... I'm not going to say a no-brain game, because there's, there's definitely an aspect of, like, I am thinking about what I'm doing. I... How many of you guys played Okami? It's the Okami Diggy game. But way deeper. And at, with meta progression as opposed to uh, fishing. I do actually... I do actually take damage with those. Might be more of a depth thing. Okay, do not hit those. That said, I should be able to get down to the core here. I hated that minigame. I did too, it was awful. This feels a thousand times better in my opinion. Whoa. Grab that. That is help. That helpful. Bonus chests. Free items. I will take. I guess let's hit this one. Saves me some time. Okay, I'm not finding a whole lot of HP pickups here. We're finding a decent amount of other things, though. Might have to turn the sound effects down. That one's just a little punchy. Ah, uh, came so close. The fishing mini games are rarely any good. I the old comedy one was yeah, it wasn't great. But no, I was talking about the digging mini game. Now that was some heck. Welcome to our market. Thank you very much. Oh, it's double power drilling for longer. Thank you very much. 
That's what it does. Okay, we might as well buy those. So that's why boost is good. It's not that they take less damage, it's that I just do more damage. I wonder if you need some acid resistance. Yeah, probably. Oh, this is where I get the extra mining points. I was wondering about that. Bit of research. Doesn't look like we got any more. All right. Does doing more damage equal taking less damage? You're just there lesser, uh, less time. If that makes sense. Um, so yes, it does equal taking less damage. Okay, back to the bulb. Eh, let's go here for a bit. I bet I can just shoot straight to the bottom. Okay, now let's swing back up. Now that we've obtained some things... Let's actually grab some of these bits. I don't think I want to come here specifically for the money. But it's great for the speed. Let's see. Oh, unfortunately, like I said, not a lot going on, so I'd, not exactly a lot to immediately talk about. It's also, I'm not going to say it's making me sleepy, but it's its one of those that it's just like, this is absolutely a turn your brain off and just zen kind of game. I think they succeeded really well with that. makes I don't know that always makes commentary so much harder for me it's just like well and I yeah we want to hit this one there we go all right I was gonna nope doesn't look like it can access the menu from here oh game would be great on the switch I can see that I can see this being great on multiple platforms hell I can see this being amazing on phones just do a couple of dig downs before bed. I'm curious. Eh, no. I'm glad. I'm definitely glad it wasn't on phones first. I find most games that release on phones first always have that little bit of stink of you know pay to win attached, and it always hurts just a smidge. Like I really loved playing Infinitoad. Uh, what, two weeks ago? And really enjoyed it. But there was definitely that feeling of just like, yeah, but it's... <laughs> it was a mobile game, and I, I can still feel that. Alright. She'll get the job done. So let's get that. Uh, let's see. I think the rest of these eh, aren't quite out of my... General availability. Okay, I was going to. I still can't access the options. There we go. Yeah, they removed the time chest ch and in infinitude. I think, which is a really good thing. Not that I really immediately hated them, but it was kind of a downer. I want to go back and play more, but I, I think no matter what, it's just that it's it's hard to escape what it was. Yeah, it's still angry over Plants vs Zombies too. Yeah. How many I got? I got three. I'm gonna plunk one into the auto earner gold, mainly just because. That's free money with like no extra effort. Uh, let's see, so we're gonna look at collection. Not astronomy. Market sold out and we gotta get a lot. What about research? 
So we need some old cans, some split moss mud coal light stone, and red thread. Okay. Well, back to the bulb. Might as well. You need to buy the things to mine this stuff to get more upgrades. Good luck. It's true. I appreciate that it isn't just like a mad rush to the center. That there's actually a, a very big reason. Is that gonna... Okay, that doesn't destroy my treasure chest. That's kind of nice, actually. Yeah, I don't think I'm necessarily going to make it to the center. I don't think I'm quite strong enough for that yet. Okay, saw some things up here. Yeah, not enough. I just wanted to see if I could find a health upgrade, but it looks like we're fresh out. It's fine. Wow, yeah, it doesn't look like there's any nearby at all. All right, we'll just keep drilling over and over again until I get a little bit better. Uh, let's see. That was worth the 5k points in my opinion. What else am I going to do? Save up for 100k? Yeah, especially because I've been really bad about redeeming ring fit lately. Every time I sit down to finally say, like, yeah, I'm going to start getting back into shape, my life is just like, no, no, you're not. It's like, oh, come on. I love my job. I love what I do. It is merciless when it comes to, like, giving me enough free time for the various things I want to work on. Ow. Something hurt me. On the plus side, the uh, the worm that came through cleared everything out for me. I don't see any healing, though. Re Give me that sweet money. Yep. Get fine. Do we drill again? Do we think we have enough? I'm going to keep drilling. The answer is daily for ring fit. I'd like to. Uh, what I did from like my own perspective as far as uh, personal fitness goes is I I actually picked up an Oculus Quest, uh, which like I'm really not a big fan of Facebook. I frankly hate the site. Um, and haven't used Facebook except for to occasionally peek at my racist grandma to see if she's any less racist. The answer is no. Um, I don't know why I look, honestly. Holy shit, look at that. Um, hell yeah, money. Not quite as much as I was expecting, actually. No, that's still a lot. Uh, let's see. But I figured I'd pick up a quest, specifically because what I could do with it is, um... Yeah, I'm not going to make it to the bottom. Unless I get incredibly lucky here. Oh, there was an HP. I might have been able to make, make that work. But it's fine. Let's go to the HQ. I think I've got some things to drop off research-wise. Oh, let's see. Research. There we go. Okay, so we got coal and red thread. So we still got to find old can split, moss mud, some other things. The other thing I haven't done that I could do is we got a shit ton of money. Let's actually fill out this map a little bit. Yeah, because we still haven't found like half the things required. Random chest with taco. Drill hanger. Okay. Okay. So this requires 800 research and 40,000 gold to get me the Geo. Don't be a stranger now. New research unlocked. An investment. 
Serving modestly, moderately legal snacks to the hungry space traveler on the go. Try the new critical hit enhancing coffee flavored hot drink while enjoying a complimentary octo massage. Crit strike plus 50. Unfortunately, lacking money and some other things. We'll have to come back to these. I kind of like, I like this minute, this progression system. It's just kind of go nuts, do whatever. Make, make money and you'll find what you need slowly. Or market stock. I, I don't know. Dig in this. The tooth. From a distance, this comet looks like a tooth from a chompy, chompy space monster. It's bug snacks. They made it into space. That's what the moon is made out of. Oh. Okay, on the plus side, I think this is what I'm looking for. I think actually this has a number of the materials that I specifically want. I really hope we get a bug snacks too. I'd be fine without it, but it'd be nice. I'm on fire, aren't I? Ah, but we get bananas here. Ah! This is a mimic! Well, it wouldn't be a roguelike without a mimic. You need rat resistance badly. I need nothing of the sort. I need more HP and more beef. I must become ridiculous. So ridiculous that radiation means nothing to me. Uh... And dead. Alright, keep drilling. We've got a we've got a new crewmate. I just need like one or two more bananas and maybe some other things. I'm not really sure. Man, I've totally forgotten th what el what other games the bug snacks people have made. Cause that game definitely felt like kind of a uh, out of nowhere kind of production. Which I guess it kind of was. Okay. Well, hopefully that's enough. Let's go back. Definitely a decent amount of money. Uh, corporation level. We've unlocked a bedroom. Unfortunately, I need more cores. Specifically, I need a lot. Because I want to get the HQ size upgrade. What else do we have? A lot of resistances. Oy. Oh, they'd made Octodad. You know what? That actually makes total sense now that I'm thinking about it. enough? Yeah. Cash McMoney. Investments. Oh, I see. No, that's the mini-map. Back to the HQ. Nothing in the collection. What about research? Okay, well, we got rolling pin. I need four more. So we got to find copper tin, copper bar... Cup of tea, light stone, and moss mud. Moss mud and split. Feel like they're easy enough. Yeah, because there's moss mud. Oh, that's chalk. I guess let's do fresh real quick. So we get, we've got to just get a bunch of those. Because if I can get them, we good. And then we just swing downwards. So we're gonna do, what do you guys think? Gosh, I've been playing this for an hour. I'm actually having a lot of fun with it. Like, it's pretty good. It's a little mindless. But... Like, as far as as far as the indie games go from the lightning round, this one ranks pretty high in terms of the like, man, this is actually this is good. I'd like to play more. I like it. Very zen. 
I'm just kind of trying to decide this like, well, do I do I stick it out and just play this for the rest of the night or do we switch to something new? Cuz I'm kind of up for either. It good. Why did I pick that up now? I have no idea. Yeah, it's just some of those flash minor game vibe uh vibes, yeah. It absolutely does. It's it's 100% in the same gener general genre. I think I gotta get those resistances before I can really... Tango with the later areas on this one. Okay, let's go to... I should have enough money, hopefully. Level up rumble, rubble. I love the fact that you can level up all of these various things. You know, it's it's not a very static game. Okay, I've got enough for each one of those. Works for me. Okay, no more cores, no market, still nothing on the astronomy. What about research? Did we get enough of this? Nope, damn it. We're like one shy. Okay, that was the bulb? No, fresh. Fresh. Okay. I see a lot of, I like this, don't mind, and a switch. Okay. So in that case, I think what we'll do is, I'll finish this run up. We got what we came for. Oh, see what the crewmate does. Yeah, I forgot to slot him in. You're right. Okay. Might as well grab a couple of these real quick. Let's see. I think you can also fuse your stuff to make rare things. Fair enough. I should probably pay attention to that. Okay. Get the big boost. There we go. I think I'm gonna be able to make make it to the center on this one. Yeah, there's a couple of HP refills go a very, very long way. There we go. Oh! It's a little bright when it does that flashy thing, but I do really appreciate the uh, the slight boost of light radius to figure out just like, okay, is there anything else I want to grab on this? And the answer is, eh. Well, we get some core fragments. Not many. It's going to take a little while uh, to get up. <laughs> At three. Oh, well, what else did we get? Ooh. So just getting that gives me some max drill HP. All right. Uh, let's see. Crew slot. We got Money Boy. The question is, do we have spaces for Money Boy? I don't think we do. Yes, we do. Okay, so he gives Drill Power, Drill HP, Crit Strike, and Acid Resistance. And some Rad Resistance. Cool. Alright. So, honestly... Fusion. Level up a tile to unlock. Oh! So I can fuse these, if I've leveled them up, to make uh, the higher end resources, if I want to make them. So I can specifically get a couple of those, which means I should be able to go to research. And grab both of these. There's a little bit left to go uh, to get the next research, but unfortunately I'm not going to be able to do really anything until we have uh, 11, almost 20 more cores. Once we get those 20 extra cores, then, then we'll have the HQ size and we can, you know, progress. But, uh... Until then, we're just going to be chucking our drill at things. I guess the I guess the real trick would be finding more places to explore, and get the the low tier loot from. Because yeah, I've barely even explored this map. I think I'm picking this up. It it good. 
It's not going to be the deepest game I think I will play all year. Uh, but it is definitely ranks in terms of kind of just casual fun. And we've got three new places to check out. But I think I'll save that for next time. Uh, if we do manage to fit in the next time. I think I will. This is really neat. Uh, but for now at least, thank you all so much for watching. And I guess, uh, for those of you on YouTube, seeing as this is going to go off as uh, go out as a one-off, uh, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. Because, yeah, I'm probably going to play more of this. I have no idea how the hell I'm going to fit it in. So this might be kind of just an, AK an occasional, like, I, I load it up for maybe an hour every couple of days. Uh, or maybe I do it as, like, a more consistent series. I don't know. And also, otherwise, I just have a ton of other indie games to check out, which is what we're going to go do now. So with that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.